On a tiny island nestled in the sea lived a young mouse named Eckhart. Eckhart was the sort of mouse who would do anything for those he loved. But what he didn't know was what he might do for someone he didn't like. And a hush falls over the crowd as the young champion from Crumfest Cove prepares to set a world record. Are you gonna jump or not, Eckhart? Geronimo! Oh, what? Oh, who's there? We! My fellow Crumfest Covians. No, no. <clears throat> Fellows. Oh! Ow. What? <laughs> you? What is the meaning of this? Is this some sort of ambush? Actually, it was a double reverse flip. Can't you see I'm busy creating my state of the cove of dress? No, get out of here! All of you! But we were just what? having some fun. Out! Oh! Just come on, Eckhart. Can't you see I'm busy? Because if we care. Grandpa? What's this state of the cove address Boss Mouse keeps talking about? Oh, it's a speech he gives every year. He likes to remind us of what a big shot he thinks he is. Someday, I'm gonna be as big as him, and I'll show him who's boss. Eckhart, you're already bigger than Boss Mouse. You just don't know it yet. Huh? Grandpa, sometimes you say the strangest things. <laughs> Glad he sure does have big teeth. Yeah, I'm sure glad he uses them to smile at us. Oh, me too. Hey, let's see if he'll take us for a ride. Okay. Laddie! Wakey, wakey, laddie! Laddie! Hello, laddie. It's us. I can see that. Take us for a ride, please, laddie. Please. Oh, no. I'm right in the middle of my mid-morning nap. See? I told you he was too old to give us a ride, Bridget. Who are you calling old? I'll show you who's old. Get on. Yay! <laughs> Can't you go a bit faster, Laddie? You're getting a free ride. What more do you want? We want an adventure. I'm afraid this is as good as it gets. <laughs> Laddie, what is it? There's something in the air. I've got to see what this is. I've never smelled anything like this before. Ready? Ready? Go! Whee! Yahoo! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I found heaven. <laughs> Watch this. Geronimo! <laughs> <laughs> Ready? this place. Wait till we tell the others. Yeah. This is the best thing ever to happen to Crumfest Cove. And we found it. Ah! Backard! Bridget, what is it? Look, it's a monster! Huh? Ah! Oh, that's no
no monster. Look! <laughs> this is so fun! <laughs> Watch this, Eckhart! <laughs> Whoa, look at me! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, that's the ugliest one yet! Hey, who are you calling ugly? Are you looking at me? Whoa! Are you looking at me? Uh, she didn't mean ugly. She meant, uh, uh unusual. In an interesting way. Uh, oh, yeah, interesting. You're all very interesting. Now this, this is an entirely different story. You know, we were just going. You see, we reject the common stereotype held by most mice that rats is ugly. Or that rats is stupid. We ain't stupid. Um, we should probably go home anyway. Hey, it's a free dump. You can come and go as you please, but there's a code. Respect. You respect us, we respect you. Comprende? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, see ya. Remember, respect. It's so little to ask. It was time to share the news with the community. After all, Bridget and Eckhart's great find would bring prosperity to all the mice. Everything a mouse could possibly want was found at the dump. Food, fun, and merriment. And henceforth, all mice of Crumfest Cove are required to volunteer three hours of work per week <laughs> to lighten my enormous load and allow me to serve you, the citizens, better. Huh? Oh, Ned! Shorty! Uh, uh, what, boss? Uh, over easy and hold the pepper. I just made an important announcement. Was I dreaming? Hold up the applause signs. Yes, okay, yes, yes. okay. Oh, you idiots. Oh, they're excited about my state of the cove address. Uh, naturally. Oh, naturally. Right-o, boss. Ugh, I'm getting too old for this, Eckhart. I called you old yesterday and you said you weren't. Well, that was different. I'm old if I say I'm old. Not you. Well, here we are. <laughs> Perfect? And to think, it all started when Laddie smelled something rotten. Gentlemen, prepare for my entrance. <laughs> Uh-oh. What are you waiting for? I'm ready. <laughs> well, you see, boss, um... Go on, you don't Make the announcement! Uh, hear ye! <laughs> Hear ye, the right honorable boss mouse shall now deliver his annual State of the Cove address. And now, here he is, the mouse of all bosses. I give you Boss Mouse. Thank you. Thank you. I'm, I'm, <gasps> I'm alone. Where in Crumfest Cove is everyone? <laughs> If you're all having fun, but go ahead, I'm listening. I could use a good laugh. <laughs> fun? Fun? What do you mean they're having fun? Who said they could have any fun? I didn't say anyone could have any... fun! I didn't think you even knew what fun was. <laughs> Just who is responsible for luring all these mice here instead of listening to my address? Go! Whoa! 
In a morning full of surprises, the biggest surprise was what Boss Mouse did next. And that was nothing at all. Or so it seemed. Boy, that sure was fun yesterday. I hope we can have that much fun every day. But what? Every day? If I keep this up, why, I'm, I'm going to be sleep deprived. Don't worry, we're nearly there. You can nap until it's time to go home. Oh no, Eckhart, look! What's going on here? We're collecting the admission fees. Admission fees? Yes, two hours of play in Boss Mouse Land will cost you two hours of work for Boss Mouse. Just sign here. That's ridiculous. Perhaps the young mouse is interested in a family pass or a special group rate, hmm? It's an excellent value. Since when did our playground become Boss Mouse Land? Oh, oh, brother! Come on, everyone! This way! Do I sense some troublemakers here? After all, entering the grounds illegally could result in an injury of a personal type. What? Yeah. No pay, no play. Get it? But you said it was a free jump. Our situation has changed. Let's just say that, uh, we've been enlightened. Enlightened? How? Greetings all. I see you've met my security staff. I pointed out to my friends here that payment is the only way to ensure one gets the proper respect one deserves. <laughs> right. We ain't gonna let no one walk all over us and get in for free no more. You can't do this! Nobody's gonna be your slave just to play here! Nobody, hmm? Just sign here. Thank you. Woohoo! Wake up, Runt! Remember, all play and no work makes Eckhart a dull mouse. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather eat stinkweed. That goes for me, too. Suit yourselves. Hmm. <laughs> It's just not right, or fair. I agree with you there, Eckhart. So why do we just let him get away with it? Because we're who we are, and he's who he is. Well, I can't stand him. Now, Eckhart. But that's how I feel, Grandpa. I'm so angry I could... I could... Well, I don't know what I might do. You can't let anger rule you. If you do, you'll become just like your enemy. Are you saying I'm like Boss Mouse? No, Eckhart. If you think like Boss Mouse, you begin to act like him. You lose all respect that any of the other mice have for you. That's it. Think like him. Thanks, Grandpa. You're right Eckhart, again. wait. Now what's gotten into that boy's head? You remember what to do? Okay, let's go get our park back. I still don't see why we can't go in and play. We've been working for hours. <laughs> because, you dummy, if we went into the park, who'd mind the gate? You got me. Who? <sighs> it's a rhetorical question, you nitwit. Ned! Shorty! I'm so sorry. What are you sorry about? I tried to stop him, but he just wouldn't listen to me. Is this another rhetorical question? Or did I miss the part where you said who you were talking about? <sighs> it's Eckhart. He's so mad he sneaked into the park. <gasps> hey, he didn't pay. Oh, brother, we better find him before the boss finds out a word toast. He went that way. He fell for it. Of course. Okay, here I go. Hey, Ned! Shorty! Come and get me! Whoa, hey. I dare you! There he is! Let's get him! Ah! <laughs> This 
way. I'm over here. <laughs> Your history, Eckhart. <laughs> with that trick, did you? I suspect this is a case of assuming we is stupid. Now that shows a definite lack of respect. Get him! <laughs> I've had more than enough of you. You may be able to fool Ned and Shorty. Any fool can fool them, but you can't outsmart me, Eckhart. You don't own this park. I own everything I say I own, and nobody's going to tell me otherwise. Not you or your doddering old grandfather. No one. What about the rats? They won't put up with you. The rats? Oh, don't make me laugh. Those two morons are even stupider than they look. Really? I'll use those flea-bitten rodents till I don't need them, and then I'll dump them where I found them. Ha! <laughs> In the trash. I would not count on that. <sighs> oh, well. <laughs> Hello, on, boys. Hacker. What a surprise. How long have you been here? Long enough. Oh, you didn't actually believe what I said, did you? Why? Wouldn't we be stupid to believe you? I uh, yes. No, I mean, no. You're not stupid. But you would be if you believed what I... I... <laughs> I'm so sorry. Please don't hurt me. Let's bury the hatchet. What do you say? <laughs> Have a heart? Oh, I got a heart. And you're breaking it. Yeah, let's Just go. Don't... We uh... got us a hatchet to bury. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Eckhart, we've got to see this. Boss Mouse is finally going to get his. Hey, where are you going? You go. I have to do something. I knew that, that you were there all along. See, I was just playing a game, really. That's all I... Now this, this really insults our intelligence. And in the face of one of our more ingenious inventions. Yeah. Oh.